Hello there. In this video, we will be learning about degree of freedom. So, degree of freedom refers to the number of independent ways in which a system or a particle can move or possesses energy. Let's understand this with respect to a gas molecule. So, with respect to a gas molecule, the degrees of freedom are the number of independent ways in which it can store energy. So, when we talk about the degree of freedom for a gas molecule, we talk with respect to these three degrees of freedom. The number one is the translational degree of freedom that refers to the movement in the x, y and z direction. The second is the rotational degree of freedom in which we consider the spinning of the molecule about any axis. And the third is the vibrational degree of freedom that is the back and forth motion of the atoms in a molecule. Now, we will categorize the gas molecule in three types the monoatomic, diatomic and polyatomic. Let's first start with the monoatomic gas. So, as the name suggests, a monoatomic gas is a gas in which each molecule consists of a single atom. An example of a monoatomic gas is helium. It only contains one molecule. Now, let's say this is the monoatomic gas. So, as you are able to see, I can move this molecule in x-axis, in y-axis and in z-axis. So, I can say that this particular molecule has three degrees of freedom in the translational. That is, it can move in x, y and z-axis. When it comes to rotation, since it is a single molecule, so we would consider the rotational degree of freedom is zero. Now, let's understand what would happen in the case of a diatomic gas. So, a diatomic gas is a gas in which each molecule consists of two atoms which may be of the same or different elements. An example of this would be oxygen. And as you can see, this would be the molecule of oxygen. Now, as you just saw, we can move this molecule in three particular directions that is x, y and z. So, we can say that the translational degrees of freedom for diatomic gas would be 3. Now, with respect to rotational, we can say that this particular molecule, let's say in this situation, it can move about y axis, about z axis, but it would not be able to move along x axis since along x axis the moment of inertia of this particular molecule would be zero since both the particles, both the atoms are lying on the axis itself. So, we can say that the degrees of freedom in the rotational would be equal to 2. Now, lastly, let's understand what would happen for a polyatomic gas considering it is non-linear. So, the polyatomic gas is a gas in which each molecule consists of more than two atoms bounded together. The example of it would be ammonia. So, as you can see over here, we can move this molecule in x, y and z direction. So, we can say that in the translational sense, it would have three degrees of freedom. In the rotational sense, in this particular situation, this molecule can move about x-axis, y-axis and z-axis. So, we can say that this particular molecule can have three degrees of freedom in rotation as well. Now, let's sum up the degrees of freedom for different types of molecules with respect to number of atoms. So, we can write here as number of atoms and here we can write the degree of freedom and in the last two columns, we can also see the variation with respect to temperature. Now, let's say if the temperature is less than 70 Kelvin, then the situation would be something different. And if the temperature is greater than 3000 Kelvin, the number of degrees of freedom would be different. Now, generally, when we talk about the degrees of freedom, we mostly talk about the degrees of freedom in the translational plus in the rotational. So, first, let's understand with respect to the different number of atoms. Let's say a molecule only contains a single atom in that the degrees of freedom would be 3. That is, it will have all the 3 degrees of freedom in the translational. In the rotational, it would have 0 degrees of freedom. For a diatomic gas, the number of atoms would be 2. So, the degree of freedom in that case would be 5. That is, it would have 3 degrees of freedom in the translational and in the rotation, it would have 2 degrees of freedom. Now, for a polyatomic gas, let's say if the number of atoms is 3, then the degrees of freedom in the translational, it would be 3. Also in the rotational, it would be 3. So, in totality, it will have 6 degrees of freedom. Now, these are the degrees of freedom that you need to remember and these are the most important. But also, we need to understand how these degrees of freedom would be affected if we take temperature into the consideration. Now, if the temperature is less than 70 Kelvin, then the only degree of freedom that we need to take is the translational degree of freedom. All the other degrees of freedom we don't need to consider in this situation. So, we can say if the temperature is less than 70 Kelvin, 
if the number of atom is one it will only have the three degrees of freedom in this also it would have three degrees of freedom in this also it would have three degrees of freedom the temperature is greater than 3000 we also have to consider the degree of freedom in the vibration now for vibration when it comes to a molecule having just one atom that is a monoatomic molecule the vibrational degree of freedom is zero so we can say that in this particular situation the total degrees of freedom would be 3 in the translational, 0 in the rotational and 0 in the vibrational. So the total comes out to be just 3. When it comes to the polyatomic molecules, that is the one that contains more than one atoms, the number of degrees of freedom in the vibration is given by the formula 3n minus 6. Now 3n minus 6 is a formula of the number of vibrational degrees of freedom when the molecule is non-linear. And when the molecule is linear, then the formula becomes 3n minus 5. This happens when the molecule is linear. So let's say we talk about a non-linear polyatomic molecule. So in that particular case, the total degrees of freedom would come out to be 3 in the translational plus 3 in the rotational. And this is when the temperature is greater than 3000 Kelvin plus we can say 3n minus 6. So as you can see, 3 plus 3 is 6, it can be cancelled with this. So the answer would be 3n. So the, so the total number of degrees of freedom for a polyatomic non-linear molecule would be 3n. So this is the table that you can refer to to find the degrees of freedom for different molecules. I hope you are now familiar with what is degree of freedom and how do we calculate it. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.